everyone, I'm Michelle Field with Bird Streaming Sotheby's International Realty, and I'm standing in front of my great listing at 2000 Willow Bend Drive in Plano. Come have a look around. This is the obviously the exterior of the home, and it's got a beautiful portrait chair. And then there's a nine there's nine car garage total. It's three two car garages and then one three car garage. And then as we turn around here, you see the beautiful entrance and these lovely fountains I hope you can hear in the background. It's just beautiful. All right, let's go have a look inside. Okay, so as you enter the home, we come into this beautiful, grand foyer this awesome i think beautiful windows for almost floor to ceiling windows that overlook the expansive backyard um, 2000 willow bend is 14,919 square feet on almost three acres you can see the lovely um juliet balconies um, as you move forward this is the formal living once i get forward i'll turn around we're going to head back because i just passed some rooms you'll want to see Here's your formal living space and windows overlooking the backyard and the pool. And then we'll turn around. You can see the beautiful stairs and chandelier. The chandelier is actually on a um, remote control, so you can bring it down if you need to change light bulbs, that sort of thing. So as we head back towards the entrance where we just came out, you'll see that the main door is flanked by two closets um, for co closets. And then on either side, there's a balcony um, taking you right back outside. The formal dining is just to the right of the entry. It's a beautiful space. And then we'll go left. Left of the door, as you come in, this is the office. It could be used as a piano room, another game room, another living space. We have it currently set up as an office. Okay, we're gonna go back this direction. I'm gonna take you through, um, through the home. We're gonna go to the right and We'll have, we'll pass a little art niche here. There's one um, half bath. There's three half baths on this floor um, for guests. And then we'll come into the kitchen. So here is your really large kitchen, um, which also has, let me turn around here. It also has a, a wood fire pizza oven. And back over here, we'll see this row of what looks like refrigerators. The first three are refrigerators. The last one's a freezer. And then there's a pass through to the dining space. Let's go have a better look at the kitchen. It has um, double ovens on the right, and then there's an oven on the left on the bottom and a convection oven on the top. And um, it has a Viking gas stove with warming doors underneath. And then there's two dishwashers, a um, ice maker, trash compactor. Um, and what else do we have in the kitchen? It's just amazing, it's a beautiful space. Um, looking back around towards the um, wood fire pizza oven. And then we'll walk over to the right and there is a lovely um, eating kitchen area with some built-in shelving. And then forward is your family room. And off to the right of the family room here is a lovely wine room, I love this space. This is an amazing wine room. Okay, and then we'll go through the family room. We'll take you outside here in a little bit. I know you can get some peekaboos from here, some beautiful views from your family room. There are six uh, fireplaces in the home. Um, they're all lovely stone. This space here is a den. Okay, it could be your game room. Um, also has a pool bath over on this side. And the if you take a look up here, the the railing around the, the roof, or the, excuse me, the ceiling line is a train track. And then this is outfitted with a full wet bar and pantry right behind. And I'm gonna save the master suite for last, but let's go back. The, the home has four stairwells. We just, let me just back up a little bit. It has one back stairwell here, and this stairwell takes you up into the, um, the game room area. You know what, let's just head up that way. We'll go up the stairs. We'll come down the, the main grand stairs. 
So this is heading up into the second floor of the home and it has a, a game room and a media room up here, access to the guest apartment. The guest apartment's an additional 1,800 square feet. And then there's this lovely outdoor um, balcony that can be used for whatever you'd like it to be used for. And there's storage out there as well. And there's the access door to get out to that patio. And as you come up in here, you will see the beautiful, very large game room up on this level. Um, and with some really neat seating that overlooks the backyard. All right. And this floor also has a fireplace here. And then there's this uh, stairwell there that leads you down to the um, laundry area, which is just to the right of the kitchen. Um, the main, there's a main laundry on that on the first level by the mudroom. There's a secondary laundry, which I'll show you by the guest um, bedrooms on this floor. There's one in the guest apartment, and there's also a hookup in the garage. Um, to your left there is a um, media closet. And then we're gonna go into, excuse me, we're passing up, there's full bath on this floor for use for the game room and the theater. And then here's your media room or theater. And of course it's dark because it's supposed to be a media room. And there's where your screen would be. And then we're gonna take a walk over here into the guest apartment. Um, this is the access for, to the apartment through the house, but there is private access um, from down below um, if you had a, um, you know, you rented it out or you had, you know, it was maid's quarters or whatever and you didn't want them having access to your house, however you wanted to do that, you could um, keep the apartment locked off from your main home. Um, in the apartment, there is a kitchen and a little eat-in um, kitchen area. There's a living space, two bedrooms and a bathroom. This is an additional 1,800 square feet over the um, square footage that I mentioned before of the 19, excuse me, 14,919. Um, here is the full bath um, for the guest apartment, which you see is really nice. Sorry, I know it's hard to get a good look in a tiny or a smaller room, but has a nice um, balcony leading out and that looks out over the front area. And then there's bedroom number one, I'm trying to stand back here. So you can see it and then um, go down the hallway and here's bedroom number two. And we'll just pan around. Um, all right, we will head back into the main part of the home. Wanted you to see the guest apartment. There is um, stairs here. Let me take you around real quick for these stairs. The stairs that are here will lead you down to the driveway. They don't actually take you down into the garage. Um, so if you didn't want anybody having access to your cars, they wouldn't have access to your vehicles. Okay, we'll head across back the port over the top of the porca chair into this space, which I think would be a lovely yoga room. Um, go back through the theater, and then we're gonna go take a look at some of the bedrooms on this floor. All right. Through the theater. Beautiful sunny day out there today. Okay, through the game room one more time. And then here you'll see the Juliet balconies, which are just beautiful. There's one on the other side we'll see over in a moment. And this is the area above the grand foyer. We'll take a look here in just a second. Um, so at the top of the grand stairs, looking down into the living space and the foyer. It's beautiful. And then at the top of the stairs, you'll see the beautiful balcony and that looks over, overlooks the front of the property. Some beautiful built-ins. And then to, this is just to the, as you come out of the game room, this is the in-law suite on this floor. So this is an extra one. So there's six bedrooms, two downstairs, four up, plus this in-law suite, plus the two bedrooms in the guest apartment. So in total, there's nine, uh, nine bedrooms. And as you can see, it's got a little kitchenette and a really awesome, Master bathroom, nice ensuite bath, which is beautiful. And just spin you around. Um, really nice large walk-in closet as well. And then I'm gonna back up a little bit, try to get you a better view of this. Um, there we go, of this bathroom, it's really nice. I think it's lovely. Okay, let's head on out of here. We're gonna go look at the four guest bedrooms. 
Okay, so this um, uh, in-law suite is, you, is just to the left at the top of the stairs. To the right is guest bedroom number one. And all the bedrooms have their own private bath. So bedroom, we get a better view here. They all have a walk-in closet and private bath. So this is bedroom number one. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this room. There we go. Okay, let's head down the hallway. And the other uh, guest bedrooms are down this hallway, past the Juliet balcony, and to the left. And this hallway here forward is the secondary laundry on this floor, so you don't have to cart it all downstairs, which is nice. And this would be bedroom number two on level two. This one's got a unique, um, I love the window seat. These two bedrooms on this side are just beautiful because they overlook the expansive backyard, which is just gorgeous. I love this backyard. Beautiful view of the pool and the pathway around and the balcony and the barbecue area. It has built-ins and it has a really cool uh, tool case, tool chest uh, vanity in the bathroom. So that's bedroom number two on this floor. Back up to the hallway and we're gonna go to our right and this is bedroom number three. And this also has a nice seating, a little built-in desk and Bathroom, sorry, I'm, no, I'm not getting a good shot of this room. Get a better view here. And then the walk-in closet is here on the left. Laundry to the right, just a laundry room. And then this is another nice uh, bedroom on this floor, has nice built-ins, um, has a built-in desk, a huge walk-in closet over there. And um, built-in desk and then a little built-in like makeup area. Yes, what you want to call it, vanity, and then um, the master or the bathroom for this bedroom. And I'll take a quick, I'll take a quick look in here. This is a space that is an extra room above the master suite. So typically, you'd want to keep this door shut and locked. It's got a um, spiral staircase, which you know what will not go down at the moment. Um, but you would probably want to keep this door locked so that your master bedroom would be more private. Um, makes sense that you have an access to it from up here, but at the same time, you probably want to keep it locked if you have guests that stay in this bedroom. All right, let's head down the main stairwell and we'll go through the, um, we'll go through the kitchen and we'll, uh, we'll see where we did the kitchen. We're, we haven't seen the master um, bedroom, so we'll go through the master suite. Primary suite, owner suite, probably better terms to use. So let's go down these lovely stairs, they're beautiful. We just, this house has just been completely repainted inside. All of the hard, all of the flooring and dark, excuse me, all of the wood flooring has been replaced and it's new. Um, it is white oak number one and it's been freshly stained. It's just gorgeous. So there's your living space and we're gonna go down the hallway this direction. And this has um, a view and access here to the office, which is here that we've been in from the beginning. And then this is bedroom number five basically if because we started the top so this is a um, bedroom next to the master suite could be used as the nursery could be used as a guest bedroom or could be your office if you didn't want to have guests next to your um, master bedroom um, let's take a look over here you have a nice view out to the pool beautiful and i'll turn around so you can see the room is really sizable has a nice walk-in closet and a bathroom and the best space we're coming into now i think is the um, master suite. So first of all, let me close this door. I want you to see this door. This door is just beautiful and it's always open so I don't think anybody ever sees it, but it's just a beautiful door. Let me see if I can stand back. That is the door to your master bedroom. It is just massive and beautiful. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. All right, so let's go inside. And inside the bedroom, is just this beautiful, beautiful, cozy bedroom. Cozy, but expansive and just beautiful. Again, new wood flooring, beautiful chandelier, lots of space, nice uh, fireplace. And then we go into the master bath. Um, ahead, as you can see, is the master bathtub. There's a water closet to your right. Um, there's a tub again, and then you have your walk-in shower, your dual vanities there's vanity number one big beautiful mirror vanity number two 
the spiral staircase that leads up to that room I showed you above a moment ago. Let's take a quick look into the master closet, which is just ginormous. Has a cedar um, lined closet here to our left in this door. But as you come in, let's see if I can capture this space. I don't know that I can. Let's stand here. So this, I'm standing in kind of the corner of the woman's side of the master closet. Um, it's a dual story, dual height um, room. And as I go forward, you'll see there's some, you know, built-ins here for shoes. There's a um, built-in little vanity area. And as we come into the other part of the closet is the men's side. It's also dual story, lots of built-ins here as well, coupled with this beautiful dresser. Just lots of space in here that you can use. Okay, let's head out. Let me turn around so you can get a view of this coming out the door. It's just beautiful. I don't know if I've ever seen a closet this big until here. All right, so we come back out into the part of the bathroom and some lovely built-ins, and then we're gonna head into your home gym. Um, the home gym has a great sauna. It's just beautiful. It's actually sizable. Let me open this door for y'all. I don't know how much visibility you have in there, but it's a nice sized, awesome sauna. And this gym, I think it's this gym and this view from here on this balcony, I think is my favorite room in the home. There is also a kitchenette here. You could use as your coffee bar for the morning. Um, you can come in and do your workout, your yoga, your run, or you could use this as your home office. This would probably be if I lived here where I would spend all my space, my time. It's just beautiful. Let's head out to the balcony, and then we'll show you a little of the backyard, and then we will conclude our video for a tour of the home. All right, so let's head outside. Beautiful, beautiful day today. I'm going to hold this up a little bit so you can hopefully see the acreage so if you see that pathway to the left the pathway goes all the way around the home around the perimeter of the property um 2.736 acres here's your awesome pool with fountains and then between the two lines here on the left is your hot tub over to your right is your outdoor kitchen barbecue area there's a patio up above <clears throat> excuse me just a beautiful home beautiful yard i love it and then looking back towards your your gym okay that's going to conclude the video for today i hope this was helpful um i would love to chat with anybody if anybody has any questions um about this home or any other home in plano i'd be happy to show it to you um again my name is michelle field and i am a global real estate advisor with briggs freeman and hopefully i've got this setting down correctly um briggs with Global Real Estate Adventure for Freeman. Hope you all are doing well. Thanks for taking care. And if you've hung with me this long, I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.